Okay, Uncle Deke here. What to do when you want to take pictures of your model airplane while it's flying. Unless you have an eye cup on a camera where you can actually look through the lens, it's very difficult. Now this is a really good camera of this type. And when you open it up, you've got the uh, picture on the screen right here okay but when you're trying to follow a model airplane around in the bright sunlight you can't really see in here well I was inspired by Dave my good my great buddy Dave from retired time productions and he was showing me last night how his son made up something to fit on a camera similar to this that he could look through and try to follow the airplane when it's outside. So I was thinking, I dreamed on this all night. Some of you know what I'm talking about. And I thought, you know, I don't really need to make anything. I've got something already. So what I did is I have the perfect the perfect thing for this. Why is it perfect? Because it says so. Now this is an eye cup for an SLR camera and it's supposed to fasten on the back. Gives you a little glass lens that you stick on there permanently. But I don't care how what kind of stick am I used. It wouldn't stay on because this thing's a little bit heavy and it kept falling off. And an SLR camera is pretty heavy to be using to take pictures like that. So I'm thinking all night long, I got a way I can fix this up. So, I got me out a couple of popsicle sticks, some foam weather stripping, a, here's the weather stripping right here, just some foam weather stripping, a Sharpie, from a paintbrush, my X-Acto knife, okay, and then the first thing I did was tape around this edge all the way around so I wouldn't get anything on it because I actually kind of mocked it up with it on there and then kind of tack glued it while I was doing it. And also used uh, uh, some kicker and some medium medium CA glue so there's all the components I used and what I did was the this matches up pretty good but this angle if you can see it is is angles down this way a little bit which is actually pretty perfect for this now I'm not going to bore you with how I did it I'm going to show you what it looked like when I got finished. And I thought, well, i got to stick it on with Velcro, and it might be kind of, uh, I don't know, kind of dodgy, as Bruce would say. Okay, let's take a look at what I did. Okay. I put the popsicle sticks on at an angle. To tighten it up, I put a little weather stripping in here just on this one, just to snug it up a little bit. And I put some weather stripping on the outside with the edge sticking up just a little bit to keep the light out. Okay. This was a clip to take it on and off. And then to get it to go on just so far, I stuck a little piece of foam with some double face tape on there. Okay. Now here's the problem. When you turn these on, or when you open them up, they turn on. And you, and you really don't want to leave it on very long. If, it, if, it, if you don't use it, it goes into sleep mode. you got to close it and turn it back on. Okay, so here's what I discovered. It's easy to take the battery off. If you take the battery off, 
and you put this thing on and this is how it goes this slides on like this this goes on as far as it'll go right here and then I didn't have a big enough one but I took a long velcro strap now you wouldn't have to have this I guess but this just holds it snugly together don't really pull it very tight and it just keeps it as one unit doesn't get in your way still put your hand up in here and operate all the controls but it kind of keeps it from flopping around the foam lets it go on the right way the weather stripping in here seals in the light in here too the weather stripping along here makes it tight where there's no give in it at all and now you've got a viewfinder that just works perfect now what do you do just because it's already open you just plug it in and there you go uh huh uh huh look at there so then the next step is what you might call field testing we'll go out into the field and try it out so the perfect because it says perfect on here I kept for a handheld video camera like this okay they probably ought to make something like this hey, if you uh, if you make this I want credit for it okay enjoy it we're gonna go try it I bet it works I'm repurposing something that I had laying around Uncle Deke out